very interesting women's doubles and the next match coming up is a men's singles. It's from Japan, the number 15 seat, Kenta Nishimoto against uh, the talented player from uh, Malaysia, Chung Jun Wei. actually left the Bantam Association of Malaysia in, uh, on the 12th of November, just a month ago, due to his unhappiness in regards to being pulled out of two European tournaments. And we can see here in the men's singles draw that the winner of this match is going to play a lunch ascent of India in the coming match. Court officials are ready to receive the two players that's coming on to court now. And uh, Nishimoto leading the two players on to court. And on paper, of course, Kenta Nishimoto is hot favourite to win. He's presently number 17 on the world ranking, where his opponent is just number 73. And we're getting ready to the toss of the coin, but as you can see, the head to head between two, these two players is one all. It's blank. So this? And uh, it's a very, very okay. fine win at the Bampton Asia Team Championship when their champion way one against Nishimoto, that was a big upset at the time. So whether he can reproduce some of that form that took him to that victory, we will have to wait and see, at least let's say another 45 to 60 minutes. Kenta Nishimoto is presently number 17 on the world ranking. His uh, highest ranking is uh, number 9. He spent 8 weeks as number 9 and last time was on the 15th of January 2019. He is 27 years of age. And his opponent from Malaysia is 24 years of age and born in Penang, the beautiful island on the west coast of Malaysia, 24 years of age. And his best ranking ever is 63, where he spent just one week and that was on the 17th of December 2019. As I mentioned earlier, he just became an independent player when he left Banton Association of Malaysia a month ago. He uh, won a gold in the mixed doubles actually at the Youth Olympic Games in 2014. The umpire for the match is Kulkani of India and uh, his service judge is Misbalu of Estonia. I can also inform you that Chang Jun Wei was uh, selected to, when he was a teenager just six years ago, 2015, for the Sudirman Man Cup team of uh, Malaysia when they went to play in Dongguang in China. That was a big thing for the youngster at the time. Ready to play? Kenta Nishimoto is uh, playing the, uh, the World Championship for the third time. In 2018, he got to the second round. And in 2019, in Basel, in Switzerland, he got to the third round, the last 16. And uh, Chandran Wei from uh, Malaysia is actually his first appearance here at the World Championship.
Kenta Nishimoto won a bronze at the Asian Games in 2018. He's a very solid retriever, good runner, Ready? with a solid defence. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kenta Nishimoto, Japan. And on my left, Chen Junwei, Malaysia. Chen Junwei to serve. Love all. Play. And Chen Junwei get this match on the way. A player that has shown a lot of promise over the years in Malaysia, but in all honesty, one has to say that he has perhaps not completely fulfilled that promise. One love. players, good retrievers, good runners, but perhaps both of them also lacking a little bit of that winning shot, the big attack. And that's wide. Two, one. However, from Nishimoto, good lift to the back of the court on a difficult situation. And that's called in. Service over to all. Nishimoto choosing not to challenge, which I think was a clever decision. It looks right on the line. players like the most good long Three, rallies two. trying to pin the opponent to the back of the court Junwei the first to take the chance but the smash went wide of that sideline here that fact of Chum Jung Wei not really being able to put it away, put enough pressure on his opponent on that attacking shot, he overdid it, wide of that sideline. Idea. Five, two. A solid play here from Nishimoto. Good solid start, five, two up. 
basically benefiting from the, the mistakes from his opponent. Good aggressive return from that jumping way. is quite happy to sit back and wait for these chances service over that was a Six, lovely cross court eight. nice slice from forehand to forehand yeah completely out of reach but not out of court That's good length. Excellent length from the Malaysian. Service over. Four, six. from uh, Junwei. Good aggression, good follow-up. players been playing very very regularly on the world circuit for quite a number of years now where Champion Wei really been Service trying over. very very hard Seven. Oh. to break into the top so to speak his best ranking so far is 63 but in order to get into all the top tournaments you have to get into the Top 32, and something that Champion Wei has really failed to do. This time, long of the back line. Service over, 8 7. It is eight all.
call out. Service over. Nine. I actually eight. think the line judge got it completely right, but he was close. And I think Chang Chung Wei did consider whether he should challenge that one. But yes, look at it. Wide of the sideline. to play just a simple block shot would have kept him in the rally and then wait for a second chance to see whether he could do something about it 9 10 it is Attack, but did not capitalize on it. Jumped in the way. Called in on the back line. Dead off. And who's going to have the advantage going into the mid game interval? Ten all. She's serving. And this time it was long on the back line, which Service means over. that uh, 11, Kenta Nishimoto goes into the mid game interval with a lead of 11 10 after 12 minutes of play. これはさ、これやってて、ちゃんとポジションとかで大丈夫です。すごいな。これはそうなんだけど、それがあるとやるんですよ。まだ全然。そうだね。だから、ピッチがピッチがさっきのあれ。これあの、安全ロスプレス。
Switch. Did well. Nishimoto really did well. And that one is in on the back line and nothing happened to his 13, ankle. 10. It did not look good for just a second. Trying to have a look at this one. Yeah. Kept his balance, however. Did really well. Nishimoto. And that last lift in on the back line. We just witnessed the longest rally of the match. 39 shots. And Nishimoto is 13 10 up. Good strong athlete. Push. Just a little bit of a hold and a flick from Nishimoto onto the backhand side of uh, Chan Chun Wei. And seems like he doesn't like that too much. Another mistake from his racket. Lovely skills. Perfect net shot from the Malaysian. 14. Not an easy shot on that forehand side. But this one here, look at that. Perfect. Top of the tape, rolling over. Doesn't get better than that. An easy kill. 12, 14. No doubt Chum Jun Wei is winning around the net situation here once again, playing a very tight shot. And it's not just been the last two or three minutes, I think it's been throughout this opening game. When it comes to net play, I think this player has got a little bit of an advantage. That's wide. Service over, 15, 12. Trying to play the net again 16, from a lower position. Drop. It's not so easy. Nishimoto challenges called out. I'm not sure whether Nishimoto is going to win that challenge on the back of the court. I think that was with some hesitation. And it's long on the back line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. 13-16. Very nice. 16. Jumping from base position to his around the head situation and did really well. Chum Jun Wei wants the court to be marked, but the umpire saying, Use your foot. Seeing as 
similar pattern. Seventeen. A few other locations here in the first game. And every single time it's been a winner for Nishimoto at either cross smash or cross slice from the forehand seems to be a very very good weapon that's wide 18 14 Yeah, right. I think umpire Kulkani has got a very, very good point asking Nishimoto to get on with it. Do not do any time wasting, but look at that return of serve from Chang Jun Wei. Showed some of his very, very good skills at the front of the court. Hugely important point, of course, especially to Chang Jun Wei. 1916, if you're a Malaysian fan, it's not very appealing. Yeah, good anticipation from uh, Nishimoto. Look how he was pushing up at the front of the court as soon as he saw Chum Jun Wei turning around, playing that backhand shot. And there, look at that very proactive play. the line game point setting 16. up four game points for Kenta Nishimoto 20 game point 16 and look at that that's perfection right on the sideline small celebration here serving for the game 2016 The first time the combination not working. 17, 20. Across from the forehand. And one game point saved by Chang Jun Wei. Save another three. Good flick serve. That's a good shot. Body smashes from uh, Cham Jun Wei twice. And very well saved by Nishimoto. And this time Eight. towards that forehand one side game, again of Cham Jun Wei. Kenta Nishimoto. 21, Proved 17. to be a very, very good choice and shot.
taking the opening game 21-17. Twenty seconds. Court one. Twenty seconds. As we've seen, Kenton Nishimoto is having his normal coach with him, but Chumjin Wei having no coach, and uh, that's one of the disadvantages of not being under the Bampton Association anymore. Second game, low on the other hand, sometimes you actually Play. learn quite a lot of it or from it. And you have to make your own decisions completely and try to find the right game plan. So let's see if Chung Jun Wei can do that in this second game. One game down, 21 17. Two. One, love. One thing is definitely for sure, Three, if you're in the love. shoes of this man, you have to stay patient and don't panic. Despite the fact that it's not perhaps going your way, you have to be patient and wait for your chances. Especially considering that it's not Chung Jung Wei's game plan A to go on the attack. Nishimoto, on the other hand, of course, have to stay just calm, cool, keep it going, wait for the mistakes from his opponent. Nicely saved by Nishimoto love. for that last push. Could have been somewhat better from Met Chung Jun Wei. This save here is really nice. Tell down 
However, not allowed by the umpire, Kulkarni. Many very, very good players have come from that little island in Malaysia called Penang. If I'm not completely mistaken, I think it all started with the late Eddie Chung. Very, very solid start from Kenza Nishimoto. Six love up, playing with good patience, playing a lot to the back of the court. And simply just keep asking the questions to Chandran Wei. What are you going to do about it? How are you going to try to hurt my game? Good defensive shot from the Malaysian. Cross court drive into the backhand side of Nishimoto, forcing an error. On the scoreboard, 1-6. Definitely some Play. catching up to do. Deception from uh, Nishimoto, but overdone it. Two, six. It was a very nice hold and flick down the forehand side of Chamjin Wei. Setting him up so nicely, but what a miss. there. 3-6. Once again Chandran Wei is asking for the court to be mopped, this time agreed by the umpire. on in the racket. Nishimoto just have to play, to play towards the back of the court. Tamjun Wei can do absolutely nothing about it Seven with silver. a racket with a broken Seven. string. Three.
Uh, apologising straight away. Four, seven. Shun away. Luckily, Nishimoto managed to lock down what will happen here because it's got so desperately late. Yeah, look at that. Got uh, the shuffle on his forehead. But managed to dug, which was really, really good. Yeah, clever. Very, very clever there by Chang Junwei. And it's a good comeback here by the Malaysian. I like the last smash here. Of course, Nishimoto is trying to cover the cross court, but it's coming down the line. And you've got to watch out sometimes when you are throwing yourself around on the court that you're not getting injured. Love down, it's just one point in it now. Six, seven, and one six out of the last seven points. playing a very patient game waiting for the other one to perhaps have a go at it and then trying to counter attack that situation here it came champion way lost his patience and perhaps he's also lost a little bit of energy his body language is not looking too good with Chan Jun Wei saying that he's delaying the game but I'm not sure that uh, Chan was able to clearly hear so he had to walk all the way over and of course that's just another way of delaying it good shot service over 7-8 Nishimoto must be able to read the signs of his opponent who's delaying quite a lot now. Another two or three long rallies I think would work very, very much in favour of Nishimoto. Now that's not how you play long rallies. Eight off.
it wide to our left by Nishimoto. again. And it looks like the Malaysian is running out of steam. Trailing 8-11 at the mid-game interval, but it's not only that, it's much more the body language. from the 24-year-old Cham Jun Wei of Malaysia. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Motor. Very explosive. He still looks absolutely fresh and ready to go, Nishimoto. Nishimoto is gone. But he's doing well to stay in, and that's a lovely way of dealing with that. Strings in the racket gone. He kept it going and going and going. And how, look at this one. Just top of the tape, apologizing, walking out, changing rackets, 13 8 up. Nishimoto knows picking up the shuttle as quickly as possible, getting ready to start the rally as soon as possible. And that's why the best result this year for Chang Jun Wei was the quarter final at the Spain Masters, which is the Super 300 tournament. And his opponent. He's got two quarterfinals this year in the French Open, the Super 750, and in the Indonesian Open, which was a Super 1000 tournament. So it's a different level as well that Kenta Nishimoto has achieved. His two quarterfinals, and he's walking very purposefully 
towards the centre of the court, getting ready. 16-8 up. And make that 17. 17-8. Completely one way traffic. Nineteen eight. Nothing more left in that Chandran way from Malaysia. And a very fitting way to set up the match point here match for point Nishimoto. Eight. That sliced forehand smash towards the forehand side of Chandran way once again did the damage. Game. First time of asking, Kenta Nishimoto Match one by takes this second game. 21-17, Won the match. 21-17, 21-8 is Chumjun Wei of Malaysia. All in just 46 minutes of play. The next match coming up is a mixed doubles and I will be joined by my very good colleague, Jill Clark, who's sitting here next to me, ready to rock and roll. So please don't go away. Good solid performance by Kenta Nishimoto. Took him safely into the second round of the World Championship 2021. And the next match coming up, as I mentioned, it's a mixed doubles between Fender Nukic and Jacques of Belgium against Dimova and Dremen of the Bantam Federation of Russia.
Welcome back to the Palacio de los Deportes, Carolina Marin. We're here in Huelva in Spain for the 26th staging of the World Championships. The World Badminton Championships, 44 years after the very first World Championships in Malmo in Sweden. Third time that Spain has hosted the World Championships.